All right, here with the post-fight interview with the winner, Caleb Cisneros. Um, take us through your emotions right now after getting this win. Uh, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel accomplished. I'm super thankful to God. I'm super, super thankful for all the struggles that I've been through, for all the bullshit that I had to go through to get to this point. It builds character, and this is something you don't get easily. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of bullshit tied into this sport, but at the end of it, it brings so much joy. And this is something that we do. I've been doing this for since 2018. Um, it's not easy to do, and it's not easy to keep doing, but you gotta take hard fights, you gotta press yourself. I feel amazing for a second, then it's time to get back to the books and do the same shit over again. The job isn't done. Hell yeah. And uh, you had a real game opponent, this young cat, Isaac De La Paz. You guys put on an absolute show. Um, everybody said that that was like damn near the fight of the night, performance of the night. Um, talk about what you saw in this battle, like, uh, you know, how, how hard it was, all the challenges that you went through, or, or, or you know, just talk you know about what? the fight. Uh, this fight, it. The challenge is, o is only challenging yourself. This fight is only, was only hard for me because of the challenge I gave myself for this fight. Shout out to De La Paz. The only reason that this fight was hard for him because he challenged himself to, for it to be this hard. Right, so we had to push ourselves to a whole different level, a whole different spectrum. Awesome, and uh, I know you already gave your shout outs, but let's, let's do it again for your team, for your uh, all your people on your fight team that's been taking care of you, LA Muay Thai, your coach, uh, Crew David. Give a quick shout out to your people. Quick shout out to, uh, like my, I hear my people out there cheering me. Shout out to uh, Los Angeles Muay Thai. Shout out to 818 Boxing. Shout out uh, to Inglewood. Shout out to everybody who's supporting me. And for those of you who don't support me and you're just watching, or don't really care, just shout out to all you motherfuckers. You know, it, it, it just, it's a grind. It's a grind. And uh, what do we got to look forward to from uh, Caleb? I already pressed George, man. I, I, need, I need the fans' help. I need your guys' help. I already asked for the belt. They're going to have to give me a belt. I always get like fucking fight of the night or some shit because I'm not scared. When you ain't scared and you do what you're supposed to do, there's no, there's no fucking fence. There's no boundary. There's no limit. You just press. They're going to give me a title fight next. That's just the end of it. Absolutely. Hey, if you fight like that, I'm excited to see you again. And uh, also, let's get a just last message for everybody. It doesn't have to be on your fight team. Anybody out there that you do this for, um, and, and your friends, family members, your twin, everybody out there, what do you got to say, your last message? Yeah, um, believe in something and just just walk with it. Don't You don't have to grab that bitch and run with it. Grab that bitch, walk with it, and keep walking until you learn how to run with that shit. And don't, wor don't worry about what the fuck else is going on. Just focus on what's going to make you happy in the long term. Hell yeah. All right. This has been the post-fight interview. Caleb Cisneros, thank you so much. Hell yeah. Let's West go. Side.